Hey there and welcome to my channel, I'm Steph and today we're going to be recreating the Lord of the Rings movie poster with my dog Maya. We are loving this theme going on. So like I kind of spoiled for you in the last video, these photos were actually already taken back in December. I used them as Christmas gifts for my family. What that means is unfortunately for this particular poster, I didn't get footage of me actually taking the photo with Maya. So we're gonna have to just hop right into Photoshop, but I will tell you how I did it, which was that I had a light right above her, the same light I'm using right now, shining on her, and I was like this, taking a picture, and I was like this, holding her paw, and then we ended up with this. Because now we're in Photoshop. Was that not so smooth? I think it was. So first off, I wanna merge these two images. I want Maya's body from one picture overlaid onto her face from the other. So just a quick lasso selection copied onto a new layer to start. All right, looks great. We're done now. Kidding. Using the eraser tool to clean up the selection, this low key becomes a little redundant, but stick with me. Now I'm cleaning up Maya's eye with retouch tool real quick because homegirls gotta look good. And now it's time to get rid of my hand. I have done this so many times in photos and it's usually a mix of retouch, clone stamp, and using right click fill. Luckily, the dark green color makes it a little easier. Truthfully, I really wish I had filmed this because it's a workout managing everything, especially when I've got to hold her paw and click the shutter at the same time. Uh, so there we go. Look at that. It's like my hand was never there. Opening up the camera raw editor to just adjust some lighting and obviously have the original poster there for reference. So here's the thing. I want to make the background much darker than Maya, so I need to make a cutout of Maya as a separate layer so I can adjust them separately. Maybe I don't actually need to do that, but it's the only way I know how given the situation. In other words, long story short, back to the eraser tool. If you know a better way to do this, then feel free to respectfully let me know in the comments. Respectfully. Now I'm going to stretch Maya's robe to extend it to the end of the frame. Just some duplicated layers and then merging them and playing with retouch. Fun fact, that robe is actually just a green blanket I found in the closet. And now I'm just adjusting the background with curves as promised. I could have tried to replicate the background from the original poster, but honestly, that would have been a lot of work given the quality and the kitchen setting makes sense given the tagline. Speaking of taglines, let's recreate the title text. I found a font called Ring Bear to use, and I'm just gonna play with text size to line everything up. Pretty mundane, I mean the original designers did all the hard work, I'm just copying their layout. To fix the T, I just rasterized the text layer. Truthfully, I don't really know what that means, but it works. So now I'm just copying the bottom section of the T onto a new layer and moving it up. Then I'm erasing the bottom section from the original layer. Now I've got to make the colors match, so I'm importing a PNG of the logo and I'm just going to copy the gradient from there. It looks so ugly right now, I know, but as they say, it gets better. See, I told you, now it's just an ugly yellow. Sorry if this is your favorite color, but honestly, pick something better. And then I just copy that gradient onto all the text and then just back to white for the tagline text. And now back to Maya, the true star of the show. Her paw doesn't align perfectly with Elijah's hand, so I'm copying that selection and just moving it up. And now I'm working to extend her clothing again because apparently I didn't like it the first time. You know how I love my retouch tool, I just can't get enough. By the way, I put this blanket right back in the closet. It wasn't even folded nicely. I just checked it to the top shelf and no one noticed. And now I'm just extending the rope on the other side because why not? Will it work? Nobody knows. Retouch, retouch, erase, retouch. Love that.
Now to add in the treat that's replacing the ring, I did have some shots where she actually had a treat on her paw, but the framing just didn't work well, so I took a separate picture of the treat. A quick selection, then erasing the background, and then I just add in a drop shadow, play with curves, and we are good to go. Readjusting the framing of the text because I'm picky. The red light is ticking me off, so good old retouch gonna take care of that for us. And now the real nitty gritty, cleaning up the edges around Maya, making sure that background layer is showing through even in her whiskers. I mean, I like everything. Oh, you thought we were done? No, still going. And then I'm just burning the background even more to make Maya really stand out. And we're done! The Lord of the Treats has completed post-production and we won zero Oscars, unfortunately. Them's the breaks, kids. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give the video a like. Leave a comment down below what you want me to do with Maya next. I promise you, she will do anything I ask her to within reason because I'm a good person, mostly, I think sometimes. And once again, I'm Steph, I'm filming, and thanks for watching. Till next time. Stay thirsty, my friends, but also drink water and stay hydrated because it's very important. I'm a really bad example of that. I'm so sorry. Roll the title. She wants to come on up. 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 Maya, you're not doing a good job at them thinking that I trained you. Well, she left.